So the curve C has parametric equations x equals 3t minus 4 and y equals 5 minus 6 over t, where t is strictly positive. So, part A, let's find the first derivative dy over dx in terms of t. So the key idea really is to think about how to differentiate these set of equations and, and rewrite them in the correct form of dy dx. A cool way is to use something known as the chain rule, and that is, is to say this. We could say let dy over dx be written in forms of d, dt's as well. So think about, if this is algebraic fractions, we need to have a dy up here, divide by something, times something on top times dx, and this is kind of um, a little partition. Because we work in terms of t, it's, why it's advisable to put dt's in both. And just if you're unsure about why it's like this, if you were to cancel, if this is algebraic fractions, you'll notice that dt's both cancel out. And again, you get dy over dx. So yes, and if you're going, if you're differentiating in terms of other terms like x and t, you're going to use dx or dt, or differentiating y in terms of t, dy over dt. So that's exactly why we do it. So what is the solution here? So first things first, we cannot do dy dt. We can do dy over dt. So look at five minus six over t. We could rewrite this equation as five minus six times t to the power negative one. And then differentiating this is quite easy. This would just give us, firstly, let's differentiate. We should get, well, 5 is nothing, and uh, minus 60 power negative 1. Drop the negative 1, and we should get exactly positive 6 times t to the power negative 2, or 6 over t squared. So we can write 6 over t squared times. Now, as for the other expression, what do we have here? So, Ooh, just have a look. So we've got we're differentiating the x terms, so that's easy. This should give us just 3. And because it's dt of dx, this is the reciprocal. Because the first, this part here will give us dx over dt, which would just be 3. So therefore, dt over dx should be 1 over 3. It's upside down, yeah? So it'll be times 1 over 3. Okay, not bad. And that's it. Now we just simplify this, guys. So just do some cross simplification. So 6 and 3. They both go to 3, so that's once and twice. And it's just literally 2 times 1, which is 2. And t squared times 1 is t squared. And that's it, guys.